Hey, this is Brian Stillman coming to you live from CES 2020. I'm with Be Terrific. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas, Nevada. There is technology all around us. It's super exciting to be here. Um, everywhere you look, you're seeing something new. You're seeing something innovative. Uh, here on the Be Terrific set, our lucky, our beautiful set, we've got all sorts of these panels and it's all glowing and very Las Vegas, very Las Vegas. I am here with Nadia. Hi. Um, Tactagon Skin. Yes. It's new, it's, uh, it's a product that allows you to control Bluetooth technology through gestures. Yes. This is the second year at CES. Yes, exactly. All right, so first tell us, what is Tactagon Skin? Tactagon Skin is a wearable device. You see, I can wear it on my hand and uh, through your gestures as you said before you can connect uh, with bluetooth to devices and give commands to them through your gestures in fact uh, on board on tactigon skin we have uh, our own so software which is the novelty of this uh, ces 2020 edition okay. the um, tactigon gear gear software so gestures analysis recognitions and uh, with this software, you are able to recognize up to 16 gestures. So for instance, uh, up, down, right, left, or more complicated gestures, because you can also wear two tatigon, one right hand and one left hand. So through our gestures, we give commands to the device. For instance, if we have a robot, a robot arm, uh, and we uh, do a square, mm -hmm. the robot positions in a, in a certain position, uh, goes in a certain position. So it's not so. just move forward, move backwards, it's literally creating command languages. Yes. So uh, movement in a square means robot position yourself here. Yes. Or it means whatever the product is, tells it to do something. Yes, exactly. It's a sort of teaching. Right. So we can teach to the robot through our gesture. And does it work with any Bluetooth enabled device? Does it work just certain Bluetooth devices? How does the pairing come together? No, we can connect to any device with Bluetooth. So we go from robots to tablet or smartphone or PC. So we can, for instance, use a Tatigon skin like a mouse. So if we connect to a PC with a 3D CAD software, let's think of it, we can rotate the object through the keys here on the back, for instance, click and zoom in right. or click and zoom out. So give commands uh, like if it were a mouse. What are some of the applications that you're seeing this applied to? Um, I, I can see lots of possible options, obviously toys or industry. Um, where are you seeing it, it, it so be used? We, up to now, we left the Tatigon Skin applications horizontal on purpose, meaning that uh, by simple changing the software on board, we can change the applications. So we can, for instance, manage PowerPoint presentations. So as soon as you're speaking with a simple uh, gesture, you can make slides go onwards or backwards, or you can zoom or you can rotate and so uh, highlight some words, for instance. Or uh, you can connect to robots uh, to control uh, humanoids or robotic arms, both for um, industry uh, applications, but also our everyday life. It's really all about man-machine interface at this yes. point. I yes. mean, that really seems to be the, the the big hurdle that needs to be leapt over. Uh, we're creating all this technology, but we still have to find ways to connect to it, still yeah. have to find ways to use it in a way that's not invasive in yeah. our life, in a yeah. way that is seamless. Um, talk a little bit about the impetus behind the creation of this. What was motivating it? Okay, so um, the very, very beginning of the story is a daddy maker story meaning that uh, a dad with his daughter who wanted to be like Iron Man, you know, uh, and have a device to control things, gave the starting idea of this. Then uh, thinking about the um, applications and the possibilities of gestures, we uh, understood that uh, gestures are our everyday life. So when we uh, communicate something, we do it also with gestures. So why don't use them to uh, apply to a technology in order to simplify the interaction, the man-machine interaction. So, for instance, when you have to program a robot, you need a high-tech skill, you need a lot of time, long procedure. 
mm, think about uh, just uh, doing a circle and the robot learns to position in a certain way or to do a certain movement that is much easier. What was the process like developing the gestures and figuring out what gestures you want to use to create this interface? Because um, we can do anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. How do you narrow that down into something that's simple for people to understand, easy for them to learn, um, and, and is are distinct enough yeah. for whatever you're controlling to differentiate between, uh, from gesture to gesture? This is a, a good question and a good problem also. One of the main problems we had to face, because you know, we can choose a simple gesture like forward, but sure. uh, for, for instance, I do it in this way, another person does it faster or longer, <laughs> you know. So um, it's not an easy task. So through the artificial intelligence algorithm we have developed, we are now, um, um, doing examples of these movements from different people so that we can have a high accuracy of recognition of the gesture even if it's done by different persons so uh, thinking of a general use so an everyday life use uh, we have to um, to bring things as much simple as possible are they now you said there are 16 gestures are they 16 predetermined by, uh, by you guys, by Tactagon Skin, or can I create a new gesture that becomes a new language, a 17th? You know, if I say I want one gesture to be this, 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 now that means position yourself here to the robot. Is that something that I can do? Is that something that you foresee in the future being part of this? Yes, it's something you can do because Tactigon Skin is programmable. So we have 16 gestures we have up to now. So we started from the simplest ones. So right, left, uh, forward, backwards and so on. But you can do also double gestures and you can decide on your own that a specific movement has a specific command for the device. Yes. Now, what um, are there any are there, are there any programs out there? Um, is there a list of programs that this already works with that you have templates for that you have um, already sort of programmed certain commands in, or is it just completely open where anything I get I can program in? Okay, so uh, first of all, I should say that Tatigon Skin is not on the market yet. Oh, okay. So uh, what we have developed up to now, it's in our headquarters. So for instance, on our uh, YouTube channel, you can see videos about the applications we have already developed. So uh, a person uh, buying uh, Tactigon Skin can download those sketches from our marketplace, install simply on the device here through the USB, okay. and uh, use as is. But Tatigon Skin has already uh, has also an Arduino SDK available, so we give libraries and everything useful to program. Mm -hmm. And so a, a person can decide to write his own code or to improve what we have already done. So where can people... Well, actually, before I ask that, you came out... Uh, you were at CES last year. Yeah. Um, you're here this year. Yeah. What brings you back? What's What are the latest developments? And, and when is this coming out? So last year we presented Tactigon Skin device. Right. And the aim of our participation in the exhibition was to collect as much feedback as possible okay. from general public because we need to know if we were going on the right on the right way. Sure, sure. Okay. So the mm, feedback was positive, and so now <laughs> we came back in order to present this new uh, Tactigon Gear software, which is the key point and the most important thing of this year, uh, this algorithm with artificial intelligence with 16 gestures already recognized. Plus it's available in black this year. Yeah, and the black version. <laughs> yeah. um, so where can people go to learn more about Tactagon Skin? Okay, so we are exhibiting at the Sense Expo, uh, all G, level one, in the Italian pavilion, which is 52722. Can people find it out? People who are not at CES, can they they learn more about it. You yes. have a website. Okay, so website is tatigon.com and we are also social. So Tatigon can be found on Twitter, on YouTube, on uh, Instagram and so on. And that's Tactigon, T-A-C-T-I-G-O-N. Yes, exactly. Tactigon. Correct. Great. And do you have a retail price on that yet? I know it's not out yet, but... 
Yes, uh, retail price will be 149 US. Great. Uh, well, Tactagon Skin, one of the many innovative products that are coming out. Uh, you can see it all at CES. Stick around. We're going to have a lot more. I'm Brian Stillman from Las Vegas, Nevada. We'll be back.